In this video, we gathered for you guys the best recent Blender tutorials that will help you a lot in your learning journey. These tutorials will range from making robots, modeling tips, animation, creating beautiful grease pencil art, in addition to flaming swords just like this one, and much more. Before we start, if you are new here, please subscribe to this channel where you can keep yourself updated with the latest news of 3D software, tutorials, courses, and all you name it. Without further ado, let's begin with this tutorial that was made by Polyfjord. It is about creating a light bulb robot from start to finish using only free assets and then doing the animation. So for the animation of the robot, Polyfjord just used a free mockup that he brought from Rococo. The character itself was made using the mechanical creature kit that he released recently. And you can use the kit to create different kinds of creatures than the one you can see here or the one he created before. In this video, you will also get advice on how to parent objects, rigs, and how to do it correctly in addition to how to kit batch assets correctly. What if I said to you that you have not been modeling to the best of your ability even if you have been using Blender for many years. Lucky for us, Josh Gombrow explains to us the best settings and workflow of modeling to get our modeling projects to a high level of detail but with minimum effort. This tutorial is kinda long, but you don't have to follow along with it, so I just recommend to grab a coffee, sit back, and listen to what Josh has to say. He will teach you the fundamentals and rules of visual design, and after finishing this tutorial, I'm sure that you will find creating visually appealing models and shapes in Blender is actually quite easy and fun. Have you ever wondered how you can take your renderers to the next level? Well, one of these secrets is volumetric lighting. In this tutorial, you will be able to learn all about volumetric lighting and what you can do with it. Pixel 3D demonstrates in this tutorial how powerful volumetric lighting can be and how it can change your render from a simple one to a high quality one. The tutorial is short and quick and gets straight to the point by first building a small scene and then applying volumetric light to it. Generally speaking, it will be very helpful to you if you want to just get started with volumetric lighting and learn how to set it up. Swords are cool, right? But what about a flaming sword? It is even cooler. So in this tutorial, you will learn how to create a flaming sword animation. It is also made by Pixel 3D. And what's cool about this is that it is very quick and goes straight to the point on how to create the flaming sword animation without covering the technical aspects of flame and fire animation and simulation. So you will basically learn how to make the sword with fire and smoke attached to it and also you will learn how to render it the correct way. And by the way, to create such animation, you will kind of need a powerful PC. So if you have a potato PC, I advise you to just watch the video and not try this on your computer because it may blow up. Alright, next we're gonna talk about the Grease Pencil. Grease Pencil is improving a lot lately and a lot of artists are trying to learn it. And if you want to learn about it, you should check out this quick tutorial done by Kevin Dram where you will learn how to create a Disneyland poster using only Grease Pencil. The making of this is pretty simple, where you will just have to do some simple modeling and toon shading. And you will also use the Grease Pencil to add details and characters to the scene. And this will make this scene look more alive. If you want to learn more about the Grease Pencil, you can check the tutorials and the course made by the same artist because it is really good. Also, if you are passionate about video games and how they are made, you can make assets for video game projects using Blender. But there is only a few tutorials that actually cover the basics of game asset creation. But thankfully, Kaizen made this amazing tutorial on how to create game assets using only Blender. He covered everything about making game-ready assets in Blender, while he talked about the workflow in general and how the process works. He also explains how to easily and correctly UV map objects even if the object is big and complicated. Another thing you need to know about making game-ready assets is how to bake textures because game engines can't import and process procedural textures so you need to bake those textures into images. And he also covered the process of how to bake textures inside Blender. Learning VFX is also enjoyable and fascinating, and this tutorial will help you advance from the fundamentals you learned in earlier tutorials of VFX to making next level shots. In this tutorial, you will learn a lot of things about VFX and also how to do smoke simulations and how to make them work inside Blender. 
MPS 3D combined the use of After Effects and Blender, using After Effects for both the tracking and the compositing of the video. On the other hand, Blender was used for the animation, modeling components, lighting, and rendering. The VFX work that he did here is pretty basic, where he just added an animated dragon to the street, but the smoke simulation was kind of advanced where it was visually beautiful. He also gave some cool pro tips in the video, in addition to providing the detailed process of how to render this kind of project without having a very powerful computer. We also have another tutorial on how to utilize Volumetrix to make your environment scenes look so much better, and this one was created by Max Hay. The tutorial is quick and goes straight to the point on how to utilize Volumetrix inside Blender. The difference between this one in this video and the other one from Pixel 3D is that Max used volume scatter rather than using principled volume which is more easier and simpler to use but with limited settings and customization. Also from Max Hay we have this one about how to create 3D art quickly with kit bashing and using an asset library. So this video is not a step by step guide but rather it is just a video showcasing how you can use kit bashing to speed up your workflow. Max also gave us some great pieces of advice on how to use pre-made and downloaded models to create huge and detailed scenes. He also shows how powerful the Blender Asset Browser is and how to use it and organize it. In addition, he also shows you how to save objects that you modeled to your Asset Browser. Every 3D artist needs to learn camera animations at some point of their career. So in this tutorial, you will learn three camera tricks that can be used to create killer animations. The first camera trick that Choco4 is gonna show us is the target camera where you can set up a target for your camera and then move it without having to worry about the objects being lost cause it will always focus on that object. The second one is called the dolly zoom trick. This trick is widely used in movies such as Jaws. This is the case because it is good and very fast to nail and as a result it looks very cool when it gives some kind of life to the scene. The third and last trick is the camera following the object. There are two methods to do this one. The first one is by animating an empty and the second one is by parenting an empty to an object. Generally speaking, these killer animation tricks will help you massively especially if you want to create fast animations. If you are interested in these tutorials, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news and resources of 3D software such as tutorials, add-ons, courses and so on. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.